How to make 3D models from text. First, go to colab.research.google.com. This is where we'll be pasting all of the code. Next, go to File, New Notebook. Now, before we do anything, we need to go to Edit, Notebook Settings, and change this dropdown to GPU. Leave everything else the same, and go ahead and click Save. Now all we have to do is copy the first code snippet into this box and click Run. You could add another code text box by clicking this plus code button here. Now simply copy and paste the second code snippet into the new code text box. Go ahead and click Run. And now we'll repeat this for all of the code snippets. Some code snippets take longer to load than others. Code snippet number seven contains the line of code for the prompt, the object that we'll want to create. In this case, by default, it's set to shark. And because the batch size is set to four, it'll create four unique shark models that you could pick from. Code snippet number eight will render the three models as GIFs. And code snippet number nine will name the files and save them. You can find the files right here under this dropdown. By default, it saves the files as .obj or .ply. Go ahead and download the .ply files. Now we could load these 3D models directly into Blender. Delete everything and go to File and import the .ply or the Stanford files. You could press S to scale the object and R to rotate. Now, if you want to see the texture, you'll have to go into a certain mode on Blender. With the object selected, click this drop down and go to Vertex Paint. And now we can see the object's texture. And while this 3D model is far from perfect, it definitely beats hand sculpting the shark from scratch. Now you could easily take this shark and add more detail. If you go into Sculpting, the first thing you want to do is remesh it. Click Remesh, 0.01, and Remesh. Now we have more vertices to work with. We click on the Smooth button here and smooth out the shark. Lower the strength, increase the radius, and just go ahead and smooth it out. You could even use the Grab tool to make some minor adjustments. That's how you could create a 3D model using OpenAI's Shape E directly from text.